here's another question that was sent to me. The individual has roof rafters that are separating from the ridge of their home. And this is caused by, sounds like the foundation is settling. One side of the foundation is sinking a little farther than the other side. But it can also be caused by termite damage to the building foundation. If it is a raised floor where you have floor joist and um, wall framing damage. So you could have termites or wood rot that is tearing up a section of your home and causing it to one side to lower, let's say, and uh, pull, the, pull the rafters away. And I'm sure there are a few other things that could cause this also. But here's a simple solution. You can nail another board next to it. If you have a two by six rafter, you can always go with a larger rafter, a two by eight, nail it to it, and then install a collar tie, which can be bolted through the two rafters or the scab and the existing rafter, the sister um, rafter here, and uh, or you can nail it here. And um, here's a better view of it. You can bolt it and you can put a few more bolts in it. You want one bolt, two bolts. You can actually run, instead of the wood here, you could use a piece of steel, something like that. Um, you can put two bolts in, three bolts, whatever you think will work. And there's a few nails. The nails can, four nails, you know, six nails, depending upon uh, how big the area is. A two by six rafter with a two by six collar tie, you could easily put uh, eight nails in that, I would imagine. Or you can simply nail a collar tie to the existing rafters or bolt it, as we've seen over here. You can bolt it or nail it. Um, you don't have to put a scab next to it or sister joist. And the reason why I'm using the sister joist is because if you really wanna go heavy duty, you can um, put a few bolts in this thing. You can nail it and bolt it together. Um, here's the sister joist right here. And it's attached to the rafter. And uh, over here we have the same, uh, the same thing, kind of a duplicate. Take a look at it from the back side. Make sure you use washers and the bolts. What size bolts? I could throw, I'd say, hey, use half inch, three eighths, quarter inch. Um, again, I, 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 I'm not an engineer. All I'm doing is trying to give you a few ideas on possible repair solutions. Um, three eighths would, pro would probably be fine with washers. And uh, either one of these methods would work. And when I say that, if you're looking for a heavy duty method, grab the bolts. If uh, you think that uh, you can just put a collar tie in there, just nail a collar tie next to the rafter, um, that go for it. You know, if you think you can uh, put the collar tie in next to an existing rafter and just put a bolt or a couple bolts in it, go for it. I will leave it up to you. So hopefully this gives you an idea of something you can do if your roof rafters are separating from the ridge. But keep in mind that if they are separating from the ridge, that uh, you need to actually find out what's causing the damage and fix that first. And uh, that might actually entail, it might actually mean um, fixing the problem and then reframing the roof uh, could, could, be, uh, could, could lead to that. So anyway, hope it helps. And if it does, you know what to do. Hit the old thumbs up button.